Hi, I'm Murali from Free Code Camp. Today we are going to talk about what is a network. So before we answer that question, let's take the example of two people who are trying to communicate with each other. So what happens here? When one person talks, he's creating vibrations in the air, which is the medium, and these vibrations reach the other party. And that's how two people communicate. So one person talks and the vibrations travel through the medium and reach the other person who is listening. Now in case of two computers, how do they talk? they don't have mouths yet or they can't create vibrations in their in the air so how do they talk so here what we have to do is we need to create some sort of connection between these two computers so a connection between two or more computers or more devices to communicate between them is called a network so how do we build a network there are multiple ways you can create a network. The easiest way is to buy a simple wireless router and connect all of your devices to that. In this example, we have connected the desktop and printer using cables, and we have connected the laptop using the wireless connection. So these three devices can talk among each other easily using the wireless router. So we have just created a network. A LAN is a local area network. So what does it mean? Imagine you have your home and you have your own wireless router. You got your desktop connected, your laptop connected, and a printer connected to this router. And your neighbor has a similar setup. He has his own router, a desktop is connected, and he's got two laptops, and they're all in their own network. So now what happens is this network, which is in your home, is a LAN. It is local to your home. And this particular network in, in your neighbor's house is a different LAN. So these two are two different local area networks. We are going to talk about an important device in networking called a network interface card or NIC. So before we talk about that, I want to give you an example of how humans communicate. Now imagine we have three different people, John, Bob and Mary. How do they talk? When you're talking, you're using your mouth. So you're transmitting information using the mouth and the other person is receiving the information through their ears. Now, how do computers you know, talk or listen? They have a device called network interface card, which acts as the ear and the mouth of the computer. So that's how computers talk through the network interface card. Now imagine you want to connect devices across multiple cities or multiple continents. Now that's a huge network and that kind of a network is called a WAN. In this, to explain this, let's take an example of an office campus. You can have multiple buildings, you know, multiple floors, you have multiple computers in this uh, different floors. So how do you connect them? You take a router and put it in each floor, connect all the computers in, in that floor to that particular router, and you take a bigger router and you connect all of your routers to that. And that's how you can create a small WAN. What is a MAC address? Let me remind you, this has got nothing to do with the Big Mac or the Mac operating system. Now, before we get into the details, let me give you an analogy. Now, we have three people, John, Bob, and Mary in a room who want to talk. Now, John, when he wants to talk to Mary, he says, hi, Mary, how are you doing? Now, when Mary listens to this message, how does she know that she has to respond to John? It's through his voice. So she, she replies to John, but not Bob, saying, hey, John, I'm doing good. Now, if you have three different computers who want to talk to each other, they don't have any names. So to bring the analogy of names and identification to computers, we have this concept of MAC address, which is unique to each computer's network interface card. Just like humans have names, which are composed of alphabets, we have hexadecimals for representing the MAC addresses. A MAC address is six bytes long or 48 bits. It is usually represented in this format. You have one, two, three, four, five, six bytes, which are separated by a colon, or you can write two bytes together and separated by a dot. 
we will see how computers talk. Before we do that, I would like to give you an analogy of how people talk. In this room, we have John, Bob and Mary. And when John wants to talk to Mary, he says, Hi Mary, this is John, how are you doing? Now when they are in the same room, they are sh sharing the same medium, which is the air. And all, all of them, Bob and Mary, hear to this uh, message. But only Mary responds because it's addressed to Mary. In the same way, when computers want to talk, they share a medium. In this example, all these three computers are sharing a cable. This is how networks were built in the past. So you have NIC cards for each of these computers and they have their own MAC addresses. Now let's say if A wants to talk to B, what A does is it sends a message to B which looks similar to this. Hey B, you know you use the MAC address to address B. This is A talking and here is my message. How are you doing? Now when this message is put on this medium, everybody on this medium can listen to it. So in this case, B and C can listen to this message. Now what happens is when C looks at this message, it sees that it's addressed to B. So it just silently ignores it. And B, when it gets this message, it sees that, oh, this message is addressed to me. So let me reply. And when it decides to reply, what B does is, I want to know who is talking. So it looks at the original message and sees, oh, it's A who is talking. So it says, hey A, this is B and the actual message, I'm doing good. That's how computers talk. Let's imagine there's a room and there are like three different people. And when two people are talking, the third person, if he tries to talk, the conversation becomes difficult for the other two people. In the same way, let's say we have three different computers on the same network. Now, if A was talking to B and C suddenly transmits data to A, there is a collision. And when this collision happens, the original message from A to B becomes garbage. It's of no use anymore because there is interference. So when there is a collision that happens, A detects it and it backs off before it tries to send the message back to B again. So this was in the original days of the networking. But later, what happened is they added the concept of collision avoidance. So in that, what happens is, C, before it actually starts sending data to A, it tries to see if there is a conversation going on already before it sends. So that's CA or collision avoidance. 